Hello everyone, we continue today's live stream session and as you can see because previous kit was special hobby so I decided we check another fresh release from special hobby I would say this is a August novelty from Czech manufacturer and as you can see it is molded in 130 second scale frankly speaking I just noticed that this is a big scale kit I thought it will be 148 but it is 130 second and moreover it is a high tech kit as you can see here so it means we can expect some bonuses inside and whole kit copies Fizzler V103 or FAL1 as it was called in uh, let's say other version so as you can see this kit comes in the black box which hints on the high-tech version i would say and as i said it's already available for purchase so if you would like to get it just go straight to special hobby website and you will be able to purchase it immediately and of course you will get all the stuff which you will see in this video review so first of all you can see here a comparison with my hand it's not that big box that's why i was surprised that this is a 130 second scale and on the top we have nice box art on the side we have just information that this is a limited edition kit and here you can see that there are some bonuses so first we have PE thread then we have decal sheet and also we have resin accessory for the engine so I guess it will uh, help you open the engine gondola and expose the engine but we will see it further in the video review now let's open it it's a top opening box and here is what we have inside so assembly manual is on the top but obviously we will check it a bit later first of all i would like to start with resin parts and plastic parts and decals which are hidden in this plastic bag so just give me a second let's open it it's a reopenable or resealable plastic bag so you can use it later maybe to store some parts from this build maybe just in your next builds but it's better than sealed plastic bag especially when it's sealed with uh, paper clips okay so here we have one two three gray plastic spruce as you can see we are going to start with this one quite big one i would say so let's place it like this and frankly speaking it reminds me of some star wars racer um, but i mean you know what i mean uh, so here you can see that both halves are molded together with engine gondolas and we have nice recessed panel lines and riveting on them and they're big so here you can see comparison with my hand even though uh, FAL1 was not that huge aircraft still in 130 second scale it looks impressive and once you assemble all this stuff together it will be uh, imposing I would say especially in some modeling contests or something like this so engine gondolas with them i will be careful because you will have to seam uh, to send the seam between house and that's not such a cool feature i would say i would prefer to have them separately but we have what we have and especially even more funny it will be to send those areas between the um, engine gondola holders let's say and if we flip over this plastic sprue here inside we can see the guiding pins which will help you with alignment so at least this and note that we have these plastic tabs between the engine gondola and fuselage obviously you will have to cut them off otherwise it will be just an ugly build okay next we have another gray plastic sprue this one already comes with wing ports so each wing should be or each side of the wing should be glued out of two halves then we have here the nose section at least nose section is molded as a one piece part so maybe here you there you won't have any seams but still it is quite funny that manufacturer decided to mold the fuselage halves together with engine gondolas if we flip over this plastic sprue again we have the guiding pins inside so this should help you with proper alignment of those two parts together and overall molding quality seems to be fine i don't have any complaints so i hope you will be able to build it into some nice copy of this unusual aircraft i would say next we have one more plastic sprue here it is so as you can see here we have the special stand for this aircraft because you remember it had the uh, let's say landing gear but it was uh, used in rare cases i would say but actually i'm i'm saying wrong information let's say these wheels will be used for the special stand for this aircraft and 
there were no views for this aircraft as far as I remember. That's why I was a bit confused because I was trying to remember where I saw this aircraft with wheels attached, but it turns out to be that <laughs> there were no views on this aircraft at any time. And as you can see, again, this can be considered as a nice bonus because some manufacturers, they just supply now uh, the aircraft without any stand and then you have the model standing like this on the fuselage because it can't stand on its own but here we have the special stand which will make your life easier and actually provide some i would say more or less proper way of the displaying the model on the shelf or maybe on some model exhibition if you flip it over we can see that there are no guiding elements on the wheels so be careful while joining all this stuff together but otherwise there are no complaints about those parts next we have special parts which can be attributed to the um, high-tech edition i need to tear apart this plastic bag because otherwise we won't be able to check them okay so first of all what do we have uh, we have here the plastic parts for the engine do you remember here they are i will place them all in a second we also have the nose section elements. I can even zoom in a bit more so that you can see them closer and camera will focus. Now you should be able to see them. And also we have here minor parts for the cockpit as far as I can understand. So I just need a moment to open them and we'll check them closer. Just give me a second. Overall resin custom quality looks fine in my opinion. So I don't think you have any issues in this area, but it will be a bit tricky to apply those parts. So here you can see additional parts. Um, why it will be tricky? Because if you look at those parts, they're really small. And here you can see comparison with my fingertip and all those parts will have to be applied one by one as far as I understand. So it will be quite a funny procedure. Obviously it will be a bit tedious, but final result should be worth it. So be patient, spend some time with it and you will see the final result which will look good or better than the standard offering from the same manufacturer. Because as you remember you can also get this kit without any additional bonuses but I am not sure if it will be a good idea especially when now when we have this limited edition available. Next we have another separate plastic bag. Here we have decals and PE thread so just give me a second. First of all we have those decals, I'll try to bring them closer to the camera, now you should be able to see it. So it's quite small decal sheet, there is no information where it was printed, but it looks more or less fine I would say, and I hope it will be easy to apply those decals on the model. And then we have also the small PE thread, I'm not sure where it will be used, so here you can see it quite a tiny one and I'm not sure if it will be used in the cockpit because I don't see a seat belts here so I guess cockpit will stay untouched in this kit. Next we have also assembly manual so I'm going to remove it out of the box and we will take a closer look. So here it is. Assembly manual is printed in typical special hobby website web style well style as you can see it is printed in color we have short history note in english and check here there next if we open this manual here inside we have parts map and also assembly process explained with help of those nice uh, pictures as you can see everything starts with joining the fuselage together so yeah there is no cockpit in this version, I confused it with a different version. But note that here you have to combine all those resin parts and that will be quite a funny procedure because you have to work with those tiny bits which you remember were molded separately. So be ready for this. And this sub-assembly will actually transform into the frontal section of the engine. Next we continue also here, by the way, you have to choose the nose section for your aircraft. And next we continue with uh, this thin part, thin strip installation on the fuselage. Here we work on the tail wings and also on the main wings. And here you have to insert the tube in order to provide at least some support for the wings, which is a nice idea because otherwise you might have a wrong alignment of those thin parts. Here we assemble this uh, special card for this aircraft. As you can see, then there will be also some 
holders attached to the fuselage because otherwise you won't be able to um, place this aircraft on the card. And note that you should choose between the uh, wings deployed version or with wings retracted version and also removed cooling. So it will be up to you which one you will choose, but obviously this one might be a better choice if chosen between those two. Next, we have two marking options. So as you can see, those are, um, for example, this one is in standard ROM 76 and ROM 82 together with 83. Here we have the modeling pattern and next we have the third marking option, which looks a bit more complex. So maybe some others would prefer to choose this one, but I think it will be a bit more tedious work to get this paint job done. Next, we have the stencils placement here and also a huge choice of other aircraft kits in 130 second scale from Special Hobby. I recommend to check video reviews because we have some of them reviewed in our YouTube channel. And also here on the last page, we have another great kit from this manufacturer in 130 second scale. That's the Tempest MK5. And this is also high tech edition, so it means you will get some resin and PE out of the box. And you can also add all those resin stuff um, to your build. In 130 second scale, such upgrade will be noticeable, so um, it will be quite an interesting project once you combine all this stuff together. So as I said before, this kit should be already available for purchase on official special hobby website. Price is quite reasonable, so if you would like to build something unusual, better check it and maybe order it from their website. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button because it will help us greatly. And also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel somewhere here should be button and there should be also small bell button. So don't forget to press on this bell because it will notify you about any fresh video reviews and live streams from us. And for now, I think it's done. We will have next video review in several minutes. Stay tuned and bye.